Hey, welcome to another episode of Electrical Theology, Esoteric Life Coaching. I am your host, Charles. Thank you for joining me again. I uh, made a video last night, put it out. I didn't make one Monday or Tuesday because the energy was just so crazy that I don't think I would have done a good job. Um, hopefully, y'all all survived and, is, and are surviving this crazy energy that some of y'all may be feeling, some of you may not, but others, it's just an intense energy coming through, recalibrating our cells or DNA just for the upgrades. Uh, so if you are having that, leave a comment down below and let me know what's happening with you. All right, guys, let's get started. This is Esoteric Life Coaching, so I'm here to help you navigate, negotiate through all this new energy that's coming in. Energy is always coming in. It's always flowing, but sometimes it's just more intense than others, much like a El Nino storm or either a hundred foot wave that you're going to surf in Australia, right? It doesn't happen all the time, but it just comes around every now and then. And it's coming around again and it's helping uh, many of you push yourself out of your comfort zone and do the next thing in life. And I know a lot of y'all are ready to do the next thing, but you still aren't getting the signs yet that are coming through. So that's why I'm here to help you navigate. What do you do when everything's you're ready to go, you feel you're ready to go, you're calling for the ready to go, but nothing's happening. You're like, what are you doing, guys? Are you getting impatient, frustrated? Are you yelling at, at some deity, you know? Are you getting angry with yourself, right? So, uh, part of this is making sure that everything is reconnecting properly, right? It's like hooking up, you get a new TV, you hook all the things up, and then you turn the TV on. Well, you want to make sure everything's hooked up properly. Um, before that you have a good reconnection, right? And part of this is not only a new connection to the higher source, but we need to make sure that you're unplugged from the hive mind, right? And I've explained this in a little bit in the past, but the hive mind basically is having a frequency that was in us, the way we heard things, the way we saw things, um, basically mean we were brainwashed, right, on that frequency. And now that frequency has been withdrawn uh, because we've captured the gray aliens. You can call them whatever you want. It's just another species that was in control uh, with part of the United States and other countries to uh, basically create the airwaves, mainstream media, and then push through their agenda uh, through subtonal, subliminals, uh, however and whatever and themes and narratives they wanted to well, a lot of that's changing right now so there is even though you may be ready there's still some work behind the scenes from the bigger picture that's being done that's going to help benefit you more and we just have to wait for that stuff behind the scenes to be done now this can sound like a novel to you that's all right um but if it makes sense to you go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know that hey yeah this has happened to you right you you were introduced to some grays back in the day and uh, be it a, a scary way or a good way or whatever. But anyway, that reconnection is happening right now. And we just need to make sure that one on their side, everything on the good side, that the new galactic family are helping us free ourselves from this new frequency. So now we're slowly adapting to thinking on our own and not being conditioned to think a certain way. Even though there's still some parties out there trying to force their agenda on us, right? Um... So it's just mainly the next step is just to put into motion. We can sit there and meditate, surround ourselves uh, in our cocoon, right, because of this energy, but the opposite, sometimes we need to do that, but right now the energy just needs you to get out and keep making the plans, right? Go over your plan you've already done, see if you can tweak something. Whatever your plans are, are you ready to have them implemented right now? If, if someone gave you the go ahead right now, are you ready? Do you have all the parts? Have you talk, made all the connections with people? who are going to be um, relevant in your next evolution. So, a lot of you may be feeling uninspired to do things as well. Some are motivated, some aren't. So you can see how this energy affects people differently. For some of y'all who aren't inspired necessarily or don't have a goal or don't have some sort of uh, uh, eye on the prize or no, even know what you're going to do next, that's okay too because it all will be revealed in time. I know that you know it's hard to say for some people, but um, there is a new beginning coming. And once that reconnection behind the scenes, you know, the galactic family, intergalactic uh, beings are putting things together, they don't want to put things or plug their energy in fully until all this other mess is out of the way. So 
Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And then uh, we need to make sure that uh, you're honing your skill, right? If you're sitting around going, I don't know what to do next, just pick something and hone it. Get better at it. If it's something online or if it's something outside, if it's studying the history of something, then do that. And that maybe will help you, uh, one, take up the time. Um, but now that you've done a lot of things, uh, you're ready for that next adventure. And that's what we're all waiting for, right? So I know it's... Uh, We've heard everything's in its perfect time. You're exactly where you should be, right? We'll get tired of that after a while, right? And so part of that is, is maybe not listening to any of that and just feeling within and setting and taking this opportunity before it does get busy, before you are called to duty, if you will. Um, serving the higher service and connecting to a new internet service, a new higher frequency galactic service. And so you need to make sure you're prepared. Make sure you're in shape, right? If you're not in shape, real good shape, if you're not eating well, start doing some of that. Get out there and work and exercise. Because, I mean, you may be called to do something that's going to take a lot of effort, at least at the beginning, until you sort of, until it waves out on a automatic uh, operation, right? So hopefully this is helping you maybe navigate a little bit about what you're feeling. The energy is still intense. It's going to be that way probably till around June 24th or so. Um... And then there's going to be a big shift that happens at that time. And so a lot of this is just preparing your mind, your body, and your soul ready for uh, the upgrades and to fully take effect and reconnect. All right, guys. Peace, love, teach, and every one of you. And I'll see you again tomorrow.